Hey everyone, welcome to the vi the video episode for the Red Cliff Castle and the Fade. So we're going to do the castle section, get everything all fixed up, and then we're going to enter the Fade and help the family out, I guess. I love Entering through the dungeon. Zombies! You know what I'm kind of worrying about? I'm wondering if uh, this scales. Okay, so it's spell power. Okay, so we want spell power. Okay. Hello? Is there someone out there? Is that Jowen? By all that's holy, you! I can't believe it! Maker's breath, how did you get here? I never thought I'd see you again, of all people. You've spoken with her. Then, you know I poisoned Arlima. For all I know, he's already dead. He's not? That's a relief, I can't tell you how much. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Arl was a, a terrible thing, but I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear. Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. Oh, yeah. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. He wants to return? It would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. Well, it's a start, maybe. I don't know if anything I do could ever make it right. Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. Mistakes like mine? I've just messed everything up my entire life. I've made such bad decisions. I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. You know, I kind of feel bad for him. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. And I betrayed you. And Lily. I'm sorry. So sorry. Please, I'm begging you. Won't you help me try and do one thing right in my life? I say this boy could still be of use to us. But if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? 
Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance, please. Then I will wait. If you change your mind, I will be here. You're back. Have you found out what's going on yet? I see. What now, then? You're letting me out? And what then? I'm not... I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. And I will wait. Okay, so we're going to leave him there until we deal with the rest of the place. I didn't think you could actually take him with you, but... Okay, so that's where we came in. <laughs> the zombies were trying to get to him. I need him uh, to become a blood mage, so... Talk to him later. So typically what I do is I unlock the blood mage and then I quick load back and do the proper story uh, section. You'll see it later. You'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Poor Murdoch. I feel so bad. Is there a birth? Not so much. Oh, the staff uses nature damage. That is not good against undead. What do you wish of me? Let's get started. Right. Demons. Okay, let's give you strength. Overpower. And I think you can wear that armor now. Yes, he can. Wait, so Morgan's bear form scales with SP. So should I give her this? And I'll wear mine.
Yeah, that's better. Oh, put 12 defense. Enderfell, I will wear that. Or actually, she should wear that because... Actually, I'm going to give those to Wynn. She's going to be shape-shifting all the time. Allow me. I could do that for you. On my way. Ooh, what do we have here? Cliff shield. Might as well sell everything, right? I forgot that everything doesn't have individual weight. It's like, um, you, you just have a limit of how many items you can carry at a time, not a weight limit. I like this loot mod though, it's um actually lets you loot good armor and weapons now and then. It's made a difference for sure. Like how enemies drop a lot of loot too, like mushrooms and potions and stuff like that. Oh, doggos. Come on guys, I can't do this by myself. Okay, so lesser, lesser health, we need elf fruit, which uh, Bodon sells, so that's good. And you can buy like infinite amount of elf fruit from the elves, of course. I think Morgan's doing decent damage. And she'll get the the bear scar or whatever it's called. Never like I said earlier, I've never done shapeshifter. Or got her to focus on it. The only problem is, yeah, sometimes she doesn't have space. I understand why they don't let you do it anymore. Because um, it limits a lot of your other cool spells that you can use. This should be easy enough. On it. As you wish. Oh, who's this? Elena. Oh, that's the blacksmith's daughter. Everywhere. My my name's Valena. 
The Arlesa's maid. Is she... All right. What happened to everyone? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? But, but the monsters... I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Let's just hope that I killed them all. <laughs> like, actually killed them all. Like a town meeting in here. So the reason I'm leveling up so fast is because I have the level 50 mod. So it's giving me more experience than I normally would have. Because normally you're supposed to be like level 14 when you finish the game. And I would have been about level 5 or 6 right now. So to compensate for the, the more levels and being able to get pretty much all the talents. Should be easy enough. Oh, level up. All right, so we want. Okay, magic does up spell power. Okay. Okay, mastery, not yet. Well, I do want fireball soon. So it's like they make you get so many of the, the weapon spells just to get what you want. It's just on combat. Oh man, those injuries. Poor Morgan. Oh, that's a mod that adds the cooldown. Okay, let's give you... Yeah, it's not allowed by the circle. That's probably why it's only in this game, too. She's uh, chastened. Magic. Yeah, what can I give her? Something to buffer spell power. Okay, tactics. So, self. Any. Activate mode. Spell wisp. Probably gonna have to give her advanced tactics later. Get for more slots. It's nice that her bear form scales with SP though. This combat walk though? Oh, man. It's kind of goofy. Just uh, just an age game, just a sign of the times. Oh god, what is that? It's a revenant. They have curse of mortality. Mortality, not motality. I just got stabbed. Ooh, he hits hard too. So having that constitution literally just saved my life. 
Normally, I would have been dead right there. But there are times when you just get grabbed. As you wish. Adventure shield. Swordsman girdle. Ooh, I'll give that to Liliana if she wants it. There you go. Oh, right. If Sir Perth was alive, you could let him in through there. To help you with that. But you would 100% need for uh, normal mode. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is a woman, Connor. Just as I am. You lie. This woman is nothing at all like you. Why, just look at her. Half your age, and pretty too. I'm surprised you don't order her executed in a fit of jealousy. Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? Ma what's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! What on earth? Please don't hurt my son. He sounds like he's possessed. He is not responsible for what he does. No! Don't say that! So, the boy has become an abomination and sundered the veil. Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is a liar. Just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, Uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman, what have you come here for? So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now she'll repay me. Get out of here, you little bugger. So the... For some reason, I got the mod to work, but the stubble and the eyebrows are like low, low quality for some reason. But I also don't want to mess with it too much because it's kind of stable right now. And there's some skin textures that look like almost porcelain. Um, but that doesn't bother me overly too much. Uh, once I'm done this playthrough, I'm probably going to do my Rogue and Vanilla. Oh, 
Oh no, he's dead. Is he dead? Mind is my own again. Blessed Andras, too. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. Clearly, the child is an abomination. There is only one way to stop it. He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... I'll see if I can get that stubble fixed in the eyebrows in the next one. If not, I'm not really worried about it. I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but he's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. We can't kill a young boy. Demon only I gotta shut that arcane shield off. Connor is my nephew. But he is also possessed by a demon. Death would be merciful no what what about the mage we, he could know something of this demon if he still lives we could speak to him then we should bring him here immediately i i do not know how much we can trust him but we must find out what he knows tigan could you find him i will try though if he resists i will not hesitate to kill him I'll return shortly. He won't attack. You're lucky to be alive, Jowl. After all you've done. I didn't summon any demon, Lady Isol. But I did poison the owl, and that started all this. I'm willing to help if you'll let me. The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade, without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt, and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have blood magic. Yes, that's right. The ritual I know, it requires life energy. A lot of it. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. I agree. And I offer my own life. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. You're the mage here, not I, my friend. It's you who would be going into the Fade. The decision is yours. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it.
The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the Mage's help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Okay, we're gonna go get the circle. So basically, um, you don't actually need Jowan. It's just the real quick way. And if you kill a soul, um, doing that, Alistair will pretty much just hate you forever. So we're gonna do it the nice way. And what we're gonna do is unlock Blood Mage when we get to the Fade. And then I'll quick load it after I've unlocked it, and then we'll get the good ending. So, Circle Tower. Oh, thank the Maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. Okay, I know what this is. Think we're ready. Morgan. Ah, uh, tis you. There, she's all free of that. I wonder how much this actually gives. Okay, yeah, bonus defense. And it's scaled by spell power, okay. I just gotta remember to shut it off during important uh, sequences. What is with that bird? Traveler, traveler. Go for him. Oh, her bear farm's on cooldown. That's not good. You can do spider shape for now. I'll just stay away from you. Shield defense. Oh, a spider. Sorry guys, I'm trying to look trying not to look at the portrait. Oh god, that is grossing me out. Okay, there we go. Oh I can't do it. I'm sorry. Is that a mage? Oh no, it's just a trap. to be interrogated. Let me save you some time. My name is Zebrar. Zev to my friends. 
I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. Oh, well, that's between Loghain and the Crows, and between the Crows and myself. Isn't that what we're establishing now? I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the Crows would have informed your Loghain of the results, if he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the Crows are concerned. No need to see Loghain, then. What can I say, huh? I am an eternal optimist. Although the chances of succeeding at this point seem a bit slim, don't they? <laughs> no. no, I don't suppose you'd find that funny, would you? You guys usually spare him? Or kill him right away? I, I don't I think I've had him in quite a while. Then, unless you're quite stuck on cutting my throat or something equally gruesome, perhaps you'd care to hear a proposal. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause. So let me serve you instead. I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing. That's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing. In which case, I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. What? You're taking the assassin with us now? Does that really seem like a good idea? I... well... no. I suppose we could use whatever help we can get. Still, if there was a sign we were desperate, I think it just knocked on the door and said hello. A fine plan. But I would examine your food and drink far more closely from now on, were I you. That's excellent advice for anyone. Welcome, Zivran. Having an Antivan crow join us sounds like a fine plan. Oh, you are another companion to be, then? I wasn't aware such loveliness existed amongst adventurers, surely. Or maybe not. I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. Uh, should we keep our party as, as is for now? Yeah. As you wish. <laughs> Morgan, minus, minus. Morgan hates everything I do. On it. So they've just been picking on convoys. Right, we're heading to the Circle Tower. You went above and beyond the call of duty for the Circle. You have done us proud. The child is possessed. But killing the demon would mean killing the... Unless you intend to enter the Fade. Yes. Yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. A life is at stake. Well, that's pretty easy. You really killed them. I'm sure you need supplies after that. <laughs> Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw Dark Spawn on the way in. We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? We saw a blood mage down near the Brazilian forest. We're off to tell the Chantry about him. 
Wait, I'm here to stop him. Thanks. We're heading out. I don't know. I have no problem with them. Tracking down blood mages. Ah, there you are. We have brought Lyrium and begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. Yes, we haven't sufficient lyrium at present to send more than one mage into the Fade. I'm glad we decided to take this route. This is really the best option. Very well. I assume you are going... Jawad is just staring at him. Or did you have someone else in mind? Good. Let us get the ritual underway, then. You know, I just realized that if Jawan goes back to the circle, he'll just get made tranquil right away. I can hear you. I'm coming! Father! Where are you? I don't understand. You there? Have you seen my son? I can I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. The what? I don't understand. Is Connor here or not? Then leave me to find my son. Connor! Where are you? Speak to me, lad! Is anyone out? Right. Where's this demon? Who are you? Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now. How do I know that? You could be a liar. You could be a demon. Fool, you won't get me out. I won't let you. Is that the last of her? Probably not. You! You're the one making father sick! I'll help him! You can't stop me! Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? And if I work on him, what would you say to him? You will not find what you seek. Turn back now. Trespasser, I will drive you out. It'd be really cool. It'd be like a demonologist, mage specialization in like Veilguard. But I guess you're supposed to be not not so evil in Veilguard again. Like in Inquisition, how you're supposed to be like a representative for the the seekers, I guess. That's why they don't let you be blood mage in that. Father wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Connor invited her to come, and they struck a bargain. 
She has every right to do as she wishes. No. It is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. I think this is the last part, I think. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah. So what we're going to do is save it, accept her offer, and then reload, and then do the good ending. Very well. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. You see my true form and stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. And yet I have no wish to engage your power. Nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead? Ah, good. I prefer reasonable negotiation whenever possible. Your goal is for me to release the boy's soul. Is that right? What if you could persuade me to leave voluntarily? No fuss, no bloodshed. So you will at least consider it? Let me make a proposition then. I abandon the boy. For now. But I retain the contract he and I made. And many years from now, I may return and claim what is mine. This will be long after whatever you want is done. In exchange, I will provide something of value to you. Something you desire. What say you? I offer much. Power, knowledge, pleasure. What is it you desire? Blood magic. Then it is a deal. You'll have what you desire, and I'll leave as if destroyed. For now, I wish you luck, dear creature. You shall serve. Okay, so that should do it. Yep, there we go. And the next one we'll get is Spirit Healer, I think. I think. Very well. Perhaps we should converse instead? Alas, that is sad. Very well then. If you wish a battle, you will have it. Let us see if your power matches your boldness, creature. Uh, arcane shields. Oh, apparently not. <laughs>
So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? Um... What do you mean? He is responsible for many of the problems here, and is a Malefica as well. Perhaps you are correct. But that is Eamon's decision, not mine. I'm sorry. Jowan stays in the dungeon for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. Thank you. I am grateful for your eagerness to help restore my husband. Find the brother Genitivi, the scholar, in Denerham. He has been researching the urn's location for several years now. The knights that returned say they were unable to find Genitivi. But perhaps the Maker will lead you to him. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. Cool. Well, that's it for the castle. So we'll do the urn on a separate uh, video as well. It'll be on its own. But it's quite long. And then what I think I'm going to do is do Denerim next time. We'll not start the uh, urn quest yet, but we'll do that later. It'll probably be the last thing I do before Deep Road. So we're going to... Yeah, do Denerim next time, and then we'll do the Basilian Forest after that. Probably do the forest and the ruins at the same time. And then it'll probably be the urn, and then all the final stuff later. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys have a great one. Take care.